Is sex addiction real? And is sex really exercise? All in 60 seconds. From Charlie Sheen to Tiger Woods to Lindsay Lohan, sex addiction's a hot topic these days. The question is, is it actually an addiction? An addiction is a strong or harmful need to regularly have or do something. No matter their addiction, most addicts' brains light up in a particular way on an MRI when shown a visual stimuli of their addiction. In various studies of sex addicts' brains, some of the MRIs did light up like addicts' brains would, but others didn't. So what do we call it? The reason we need to define it is for treatment purposes. If it's truly an addiction, there's one course of treatment. But if it's a case of certain people just having extremely high libidos, there's another course. People with sexual addiction need psychological treatment, whether it's for the addiction or for the base cause of why they use sex as a coping mechanism. So on to the next question, is sex really exercise? Think about your sex life now and compare it to a half hour of say running on the treadmill or swimming. As much as we'd love to substitute our daily workout with sex, they're not the same thing but sex does have its own unique health benefits. You burn less calories with a half hour sex session than you do with general cardio. And that's if you can last that long, considering the average sexual session is about six minutes. For the unique health benefits of sex, check out this video, or click the subscribe button. For more science in 60 seconds, and we'll see you next time.